Chapter 3 Then Eliashib, the high priest, and the other priests started to rebuild at the Sheep Gate. They dedicated it and set up its doors, building the wall as far as the Tower of the Hundred, which they dedicated, and the Tower of Hananel. People from the city of Jericho worked next to them, and beyond them was Zekur, son of Imri. The fish gate was built by the sons of Hasenah. They did the whole thing, laid the beams, hung the doors, and put the bolts and bars in place. Merimoth, son of Uriah, and grandson of Hekos, repaired the next section of wall. Beside him were Meshulam, son of Berechiah, and grandson of Meshezabel, and then Zadok, son of Beana. Next were the people from Tekoa, though their leaders refused to help. The old city gate was repaired by Joida, son of Pasea, and Meshulam, son of Besodeiah. They laid the beams, set up the doors, and installed the bolts and bars. Next to them were Melatiah from Gibeon, Jadon from Meronoth, and people from Gibeon and Mizpah, the headquarters of the governor of the province west of the Euphrates River. Next was Uziel, son of Harhiah, a goldsmith by trade who also worked on the wall. Beyond him was Hananiah, a manufacturer of perfumes. They left out a section of Jerusalem as far as the broad wall. Rephaiah, son of Hur, the leader of half the district of Jerusalem, was next to them on the wall. Next, Jediah, son of Harumaf, repaired the wall beside his own house, and next to him was Hatush, son of Hashabaniah. Then came Malkijah, son of Harim, and Hashub, son of Pahath Moab, who repaired the tower of the ovens in addition to another section of the wall. Shalom, son of Halohesh, and his daughters repaired the next section. He was the leader of the other half of the district of Jerusalem. The people from Zanoah, led by Hanun, rebuilt the valley gate, hung its doors, and installed the bolts and bars. They also repaired the 1,500 feet of wall to the Dung Gate. The Dung Gate was repaired by Malkijah, son of Rechab, the leader of the Beth Hakarim district. After rebuilding it, he hung the doors and installed the bolts and bars. Shalom, son of Kol Jose, the leader of the Mizpah district, repaired the Fountain Gate. He rebuilt it, roofed it, hung its doors, and installed its bolts and bars. Then he repaired the wall of the Pool of Siloam, near the King's Garden, and he rebuilt the wall as far as the stairs that descend from the city of David. Next to him was Nehemiah, son of Azbuk, the leader of half the district of Bethzur. He rebuilt the wall to a place opposite the royal cemetery, as far as the water reservoir and the house of the warriors. Next was a group of Levites working under the supervision of Rehum, son of Benai. Then came Hashabiah, the leader of half the district of Keilah who supervised the building of the wall on behalf of his own district. Next down the line were his countrymen led by Binuai, son of Henedad, the leader of the other half of the district of Kiana. Next to them, Ezer, son of Jeshua, the leader of Mizpah, repaired another section of wall opposite the armory by the buttress. Next to him was Baruch, son of Zebai, who repaired an additional section from the buttress to the door of the home of Eliashib, the high priest. Merimoth, son of Uriah, and grandson of Hekos, rebuilt another section of the wall extending from a point opposite the door of Eliashib's house to the side of the house. Then came the priests from the surrounding region. After them, Benjamin, Hashub, and Azariah, son of Measeiah, and grandson of Ananiah, repaired the sections next to their own houses. Next was Binuai, son of Henadad, who rebuilt another section of the wall from Azariah's house to the buttress and the corner. Helal, son of Uzai, carried on the work from a point opposite the buttress and the corner to the upper tower that projects from the king's house beside the court of the guard. Next to him were Pediah, son of Perosh, and the temple servants living on the hill of Ophel, who repaired the wall as far as the water gate toward the east and the projecting tower. Then came the people of Tekoa, who repaired another section opposite the great projecting tower and over to the wall of Ophel. The priests repaired the wall up the hill from the horse gate, each one doing the section immediately opposite his own house. Next, Zadok, son of Emer, also rebuilt the wall next to his own house, and beyond him was Shemaiah, son of Shechaniah, the gatekeeper of the east gate. Next, Hananiah, son of Shelemiah, and Hanun, the sixth son of Zelaf, repaired another section, 
while Meshulam, son of Berechiah, rebuilt the wall next to his own house. Melchijah, one of the goldsmiths, repaired the wall as far as the housing for the temple servants and merchants opposite the inspection gate. Then he continued as far as the upper room at the corner. The other goldsmiths and merchants repaired the wall from that corner to the sheep gate.